All right, we are on our way. So you go find a what, Kate? A fulvous whistling duck, among oh. many other things. And uh, where are we going? We are going to Wellington Environmental Preserve. Hey, welcome to the channel. We're on another fun wildlife birding adventure here in South Florida. So join us on the adventure. Let's head on up to West Palm Beach. No, no. West Palm <laughs> County. Nope. West Palm Beach County. Pa is it Palm Beach County? West Palm and Palm Beach are two nice. different places. <laughs> I swear that's a turkey, Kate. And there's another thing even further out too. We just pulled over to check and see, cause you never know. You don't know what they are until you take a picture and properly assess what they are. How are we looking? What are you? They're sand hill cranes. Those are sand hill cranes is what Kate is saying. But from like, that's a, a good distance away. We'll show them on the screen right there. Let's carry on. Mm, yes. All right, here we are. We're at the Wellington Wildlife Reserve, and today we're going to be shooting on the A7 IV with the 100-400 G Master. And uh, also, I'm uh, testing out the A6700 right now. So far, man, the video quality has been really good, but uh, let's get out into the reserve and see what we can see. Kate's out of the bathroom, so she's ready to go. Let's go. Watch out for the poo. This duck has the blue line on his back. It's right there. See how there's the gallinal and yep, then I a darker the spot right in front of him? Yes. That's the one with the white beak? That's a gallinal, but there's two different types of ducks right there. Yeah, that's two different guys. A few rules when it comes to birding. You always want to stay as quiet as possible. That's rule, rule one, globally. Rule two, when you're near water, in South Florida, would be to make sure there's no alligators near the water. There you go, pro tip. to trickle a little bit here. Good thing we have an umbrella. I've got the M1 Sony microphone on here, the wireless hot shoe mic. Hopefully the audio is good. This is just on like the regular setting. I don't have the noise cancellation on. Uh, how's it sounding? It's a little bit windy. How's this A6700 doing? This is the first time using this out in the wild. Yeah, we're at like an F13, F14 because there is no filter. Uh, it's overcast, but it's still bright out here, but you still need a filter for this situation. I definitely want to look into it. The smallest filter I have is a 67 millimeter and this is a 55. So I've definitely got to get one of those. When you're birding and your partner is taking photos, you'll start walking away and then realize after a few minutes, you'll look back and they're like, you know, 50 yards behind you. So always be aware. Yeah, but let me know in the comments below. What do you guys think of this video so far? No picture profile, standard color. From what I'm seeing in the viewfinder, man, it looks pretty good. I just have it on the, uh, not the active stabilization, just like the regular, the steady shot. Hey, uh, quick correction, actually. Now we're in the regular, standard stability. I was wrong. I just said this in this video, but sorry about that. So this is, this is the standard stability now. That was active, what you were watching before, so. That was the hummingbird again. So there's a hummingbird out here that I guess is pretty rare, right? No, it's not rare. But I just, just, I can't ever get a photo of a hummingbird. Yeah, hummingbirds are notoriously hard to photograph. And uh, A74, like, what's up with your bird? Detect. It does not detect the it, eye honestly, the way that really I'm really Sometimes even the pixels don't even come up at all. At all. I don't know, man. Another video, we're going to test out the A67 and the new AI bird tracking, because this is supposed to be a lot better for bird tracking, but it's APS-C sensor, so you're not going to get as much light over there, so it's like the trade-off, I don't know. Would you rather get the shot or have a little less light? I don't know. I think we have to head back. I think the rain is you really so? coming. <laughs> Watch, we're going to get back to the car and it'll like, have stopped raining. Because apparently like, there's a really cool like tower. Do you want to like walk towards the tower? 
It's like we're closer to the tower. Yeah, so we're closer <laughs> to the tower. Yeah, we're gonna go towards the tower. We're gonna, yeah, I feel we're like gonna this continue needs to go on. Here. These are weather resistant wet. cameras. I'm getting very wet. Yeah, well, I mean, you're like, there we go. The things you do <laughs> for adventures. <laughs> hey, uh, future Fred and Kate, raincoats maybe? I yeah. don't know. Maybe like rain gear for your cameras. It's twenty-two dollars on we Amazon. We live in Florida. Yeah, twenty-two bucks. <laughs> Cover your camera. We have like multiple rain jackets at home. It does the cluster of green squares, and that's it. And it's even then sometimes it won't focus on what I'm wanting it to focus on. That is a good talking point for this video. Don't get me wrong, A7 IV, awesome camera. But uh, when it came out two years ago, they were like, "This is the." ultimate bird animal eye detecting camera and I don't know man I'm just not seeing it we were gonna make this video like a year and a half ago when we first got the camera and first uh, went out and started taking photos with it and right off the bat we noticed that we're like you know it just doesn't it doesn't seem to be like nailing the eye as well as we saw in all of the uh, the previews for it so mm. I mean, I don't know, is this too late? Yeah, never too late to uh, share your opinion with others because you never know. Someone's out there like, hey man, wood storks look crazy. This guy. And they just have the craziest, craziest faces. Here's some pictures that Kay took right here. Demon birds. Kate is really trying to get some birds in flight. Trying hard it is, like, birds move fast and you have to kind of track them. You never, ever give up. So we're just driving, leaving the uh, Wellington Environmental Preserve, and we think we saw the ducks that we are, no? Maybe not, guys, maybe not. Yeah, I think they're just simple, simple ducks. There's some guy over there staring at me, like, what's this guy doing talking to himself on a camera? Vlog it up, sir. Vlog it up. There's a car coming. I should probably get out of the road. Nope. Not them. Simple, basic birds. Wow, Kate. Sorry. Hey, but you never know though. You know what? Never that would have. I saw a lighter brown color yeah. while I was driving, but they're really basic ducks. So I feel like these are just like mallards. That's the tricky part about birding is that a lot of these birds just look like basics birds. Basics birds. It's hard to distinguish. We've got to get better at this. But it's fun though, right? Huh? It is fun. What it's like guys? you find one, it's all exciting. Like, oh, there's that. What is it? Or is that just me? It's fun. No, no. <laughs> I think it's everyone. I think it's everyone. All right, no, no, seriously, going home. Okay, bye.